Jen here. So today we're going to make a wreath, uh, a mesh wreath using some items from the Dollar Tree. So the first thing I found that I was really excited about is this cool glittery, glittery pineapple. He, this guy just sings summer, right? I'm so excited about that. So we have our pineapple and then I also have these little signs here. This one here has a pineapple, strawberry, and another pineapple. This one's cute. We're we'll going to take those apart and put those on our wreath. And then I also picked up this one that says, Be Sweet. It has a different color to pineapple and a different colored strawberry to put on our wreath. So that's really cute. I'm excited about that. Then I have some pink mesh from the Dollar Tree. It's like a hot pink. I have a lime green and white, all from the Dollar Tree. Then for ribbon, I'm not really sure what ribbon I'm going to use, but I do have this ribbon, which I've used before in some of my other um, summer crafts, so I like this one. I may use this one again, um, but I also, oh, I'm sorry, I have yellow mesh too. This one is not from the Dollar Tree. This one is from Hobby Lobby. I don't know if I'm going to use this one or not because it's not as big. It is five and a half instead of six we'll see and then so I do have some pink ribbon from the Dollar Tree uh, I have a, a little bit darker pink and then a really light pink but these are both sheer and um, these came from uh, the Easter stuff so and then you of course you need a 14 inch wire um, wreath frame okay so then uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is if you can see the wreath behind me see those ribbons hanging down we're going to do that to this wreath. So you need to pick up some of the sheer ribbon. Let me show you what it looks like. <clears throat> Sorry. It looks like this from the Dollar Tree. So you need whatever colors that you want to match. So I have um, pink, yellow, and green and that I'm going to use on this wreath. I think it's really going to look cute and it's going to be something just a little bit different. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is cut our mesh to 8 inches. So I'm going to use a wood burning tool, but you could also use a rotary cutter or scissors. Hi. 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 If you're using a wood burner, I want to make sure that you get a, a tempered glass cutting mat. This one is from Caterpillar, um, and I purchased it on Amazon. So we're going to cut our mesh to eight inches. Please back up. Hot. So if you're using a wood burner, you just want to run slow and make sure that you are in a well ventilated area because the fumes are kind of stinky. Good job. Thanks. That looks beautiful when you cut it with that thing. So the way that I'm going to be positioning my sign, I only need to make 24 bundles. So I only need 24 um, cuts for each color. Titus, thank you. All right, so now I have decided I'm going to use green, yellow, and pink. So I have that all cut up and I'm going to show you what to do next. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is take your pipe cleaners, fold them, and then cut them in half. That way you have a lot of little half pipe cleaners. We're going to use those to connect the mesh. Okay, so the next thing you want to do, now that you've got your mesh all cut, is we're going to start rolling it into bundles. So you need one of each of the colors that you're going to use. And we're going to just roll so that our roll is about the size of a quarter. And then just stack them in your hand. Once you have all three colors rolled and stacked in your hand, you're going to take one of the pipe cleaners and you're going to cross it over the top of your hand, hold it with your index finger, 
and then fold these in half so that they're all the same length. Then you're going to take a hold of your two pipe cleaners, pull it tight, and pinch with your index and your thumb to make this really tight. And then you're going to twist. Now when you attach this to your wreath, you want to attach it to the back side, so you want the bowl side up. And then you're going to put it around two of the rings and twist. So what I like to do is I put six per section and I'll show you how I do this. So I start and I go in like a zigzag motion. So if I have I started here, so the, I do the bottom two, middle two, top two, middle two, bottom, back to middle. Now when I go back to this next one, it will be at the top because I'm just doing this zigzag pattern. And that makes sure that all my mesh is, there's no like um, fluid line in it, that it all looks like it's all um, going in different directions. So um, that's how that's how I do it. I put six in each section. And we're going to put our sign off to the side. So I only need to fill up um, one, two, three, four sections total. So if you're going to put yours in the middle, then you'll want to make sure that you fill up the entire wreath. And I may change my mind as I'm going along, but right now, I think I'm settled on going on the, the side of the wreath. So let's keep going here and fill up this frame. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is add our sign. So my sign's going to fit um, on the side of my wreath and so the easiest way to do this is to place the sign and then turn your wreath over and find the crossbars and so what i did is where the crossbars are i put a little mark so i would know exactly where i need to put my staple then with a regular stapler and some half pipe cleaners i'm going to staple um, near that mark with my stapler and I'm going to come in at kind of an angle because this sign is really thin and I don't want it to go all the way through to the front then what I'll do is cover the staples with hot glue okay guys so we're waiting for the glue to dry on our sign and what we're going to do next is do our ribbon. So I want my ribbon to be at about nine inches. So I'm just going to measure out nine inches and you can cut this with a rotary or you can just use your scissors. Then we're going to dovetail our ribbon and you can see I put my ribbon in a Dollar Tree box uh, with, on a Dollar Tree ro uh, dowel rod and this ribbon all did come from a store that we have here locally called Old Time Pottery. If you have an old time pottery in your neck of the woods, it is definitely the place to get really inexpensive, nice ribbon. Um, these rolls were right at $2.49 um, a roll, with the exception of this roll, which was actually on clearance for a dollar. So this is a nice flick, uh, thick burlap um, printed ribbon. So um, that's definitely a place to shop. So once you have your ribbon cut, you're going to lay the colors that you want on top, scrunch in the middle, and then wrap your pipe cleaner around the same way we did the bundles of mesh. Give it a little twist. <coughs> then when you're ready to attach, <coughs> excuse me, when you're ready to attach, you're just going to separate your mesh go into your frame and attach your pipe cleaners around two of the rings and just twist. <coughs> Excuse me, something in my throat. 
once you have all of your ribbon cut, I usually place my first one and then kind of just stick the other ones in so I can get my um, layout and my spacing good so I don't have to go and undo them all. So um, go ahead and cut your ribbon and we will come back. Okay, so all of my ribbons are in and now we're ready to attach our sign. So remember we put a staple on our sign and, a, and then glued over the staple on our pipe cleaner. So now we are ready to attach our sign. So I'm just going to turn this over. Find those crossbars and since we marked on our sign where the crossbars were, this should be an easy attach. So I'm going to attach diagonally across the across the crossbar and I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. So there we have it. Now you're welcome to leave it this way if you like this look, but we're going to add some hang down ribbons and then I also have some uh, of these little signs here that I showed you at the beginning. These little guys. And I have this sheer ribbon that we're going to use. And these guys. So, what I'm going to do is just tie some ribbons to the bottom of the wreath. But first, I need to figure out what I'm going to use. I think I'm going to use this Be Sweet. So, these just pull right off of the ribbon. And I'm going to use the two yellow pineapples. The other ones I'll save for another project. So what I'm then going to do is I will glue one to each color of ribbon. So we'll put a strip of glue down the center and put our ribbon on top of that. Oh, my glue gun's not hot enough. Okay, so let's do the next part instead. So what I like to do is lay my wreath on the table with it hanging off the edge. And you want to put it upside down. Then you're just going to take your ribbon. Let's see if you can see this better. So you're just going to take your ribbon, you want to make sure it's centered, and you're just going to tie a piece and when you tie, you want to make sure you tie it up and then cut it off at the bottom. And you're just going to rotate all your colors and I don't do a pattern um, because I want them to just kind of look like a hodgepodge of colors. So, um, I will do all the colors and then kind of go back and fill in. And you want them to all be kind of different lengths. So right now, they're about 15 inches long. And you want those to vary. And then at the end, when we're all done, you're going to dip the ends in Mod Podge to keep them from fraying. And I can give you an idea of what I'm talking about because I did another wreath like this. So let me show you that really quick. So my other wreath, woo, let's move you real quick, that I did is hanging here on the wall. And you can see how these ribbons are all different lengths. That's exactly the look that we're going for. And except we're going to put the pineapples hanging here. So that's what we are trying to do right now. Alright guys, so this is how it turned out. It is so cute. I love the way it turned out. 
Um, we have our three signs hanging down here, and we did put some Mod Podge on the bottom of our ribbons. You can't even see it. It dries clear. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Until next time, keep crafting.